Hello my darlings, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Simi and on this channel we get to talk about fashion, beauty, luxury, lifestyle and all things fabulous and anything that makes me feel gorgeous. And if you've been here before, welcome back. I'm truly pleased that you're here. And if at any point in time you're feeling the vibes, please be sure to like and subscribe. I will truly appreciate it because honestly it helps my channel. And with no further ado, let's jump into the reason why we're here. And the reason of course is to do a perfume review. And I'm going to be reviewing a perfume from the Tiziani Terenzi collection. And we're going to be talking about the Sista collection, Telia. I'm sure you've probably been looking to buy it or you've been seeing it around and you're curious what it's about. So if you're interested, stick around. Okay, so while we're doing this perfume review, we're gonna to touch base on five different points. We're gonna talk about the packaging, we're gonna talk about the price point, we're gonna talk about the performance, we're gonna talk about the projection, and overall, I'm gonna wrap up with my personal thought. Now, packaging. First and first, I would say the packaging for me, in my opinion, is extra, it's too much. It's given dramatic. If you're into that kind of thing, of course, that would be your cup of tea. But personally, I find it very excessive just because when I put it on my vanity dresser station, it just seems a little bit too loud compared to the other bottles. So I find it very obnoxious. But if you don't care for it, you'll be fine. So let me open it for you. So it comes in a very beautiful big box, which is like this. And this is where the drama starts really so you can see here it has the name of the perfume on this box it's a golden box and then you open it and then a light comes on guys i'm not kidding do you see that so there's a light here and it gives you that vibe of tropical you're under the water which makes sense because it's a sea star collection under the water it gives you that when you're in um You've seen that movie Little Mermaid where they're under the sea, under the sea. And why I'm wearing a tropical dress as well. Let's not digress. So anyway, this is what it looks like in the box. And then when you pull it out from the box, this is all the drama. Honestly, like look at this. So we are looking at a perfume in a teal color bottle. And the top is just dramatic. Like you can see the sea star top it. On the cover so this is what it looks like and then the name of the perfume is on top of it as you can see so this is a 3.4 ounce bottle and that's the packaging for you extra top and all that light I'm gonna to have to keep this box because of all the drama that comes with it so that's the packaging in terms of price point it retails for 650 USD yes that's quite pricey I know and yes, I don't know how to say it any other way than say it is pricey. 650 USD. That's a lot of money. So do as you please with that information. Um, I did not get it at that price point. I got 20% off. So that brought it down to 500 and something. But even at that, I still felt it was a lot. So price point 650 if you're able to get a code or a promo code for 20 or 10 percent off you might want to leverage it if you are in the market for it. Um, where you can buy it from I bought mine from Saks Fifth Avenue you can get this from Nima Marcus you can get this from Bloomingdale you can get this from Bergdorf Goodman you can get it from major retail stores and if you're in the UK all those stores I mentioned are from the US if you're in the UK I'm guessing you can also get it from Arad, Suffrages and any of those major um, stores um, so yes that's that now in terms of um, performance I'll say that it's a very strong perfume it's definitely going to last you eight to ten hours so it lasts you a very long time I've had incidents where I would press it on myself or spray it on myself at night and in the morning when I wake up I can still smell it on my wrist so it definitely lasts you eight to ten hours it's a very strong projecting perfume so you're going to be smelt it smells very tropical it smells very like as though you are on vacation it smells as though you're fruit you smell refreshed you know it's very tropical like the Caribbean vibe you know where it's all natural and palm trees and you get it like you're in Jamaica you're in 
Aruba, you're in the, you know, something very tropical. So that's what this perfume smells like. It's very fresh and you just feel very delicious. So yes, so that's that. Performs eight to 10 hours. Um, obviously because of the price point, I'm not gonna be spraying it excessively. I would probably spray like four back of my ears and my wrist and that's probably it and maybe on my neck and that's about it and that's it i cannot be bathing in it because baby six fifty dollars <laughs> so all right and typically when i wear it it's never just the only fragrance i use i would try to like wear it with other fragrance so it's always like the third fragrance i use or the second so i'll probably start off with like something like delina or something like a rose base and then i'll top it on it just so that this is the main one on top and then it mixes with that just because I'm trying to preserve it because basically I'm not trying to buy another bottle when this is done and it's not going to be done anytime soon okay for that $650 so that's performance now projection is gonna project people are gonna smell you people are gonna want to know what you're wearing you're gonna smell different it's not like every other thing in the market however I would say that if you don't want to get this the closest fragrance that smells like this is also from the Tiziani Terranzic um, house. I think it's called Cassopedia. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Something like Cass something. I'll be sure to put that in the description box below. So that might smell close to this, but it's not the same thing, but they have similar notes. So you might get some kind of similarity, but this one is different from it. It's just like, it's that's the closest okay um so now let's talk about the notes in this fragrance because i think it's important that you know that but of course you can go on the website or you can go on Saks Fifth avenue to look at it up so the top note is bergamot sicilian orange Authorn flower bulgarian rose and uh romagna pier the heart note is jasmine peruvian elithrope red pacholi and lang lang then the base note is musk Cambodian, Agawood, and Dormas. I think I got them right. And it's supposed to open some kind of row of joy and happiness. It's supposed to smell very refreshing. Anyway, you can literally go on Saks Fifth Avenue to kind of look at the website for the notes. So that's that. In terms of, um, so we talked about the packaging, the price, the performance, and the projection. My personal take, Honestly, I feel like it's a great perfume. It's, it's not a bad perfume. Um, I would just say you cannot do this as a blind buy. Simply because one, you're paying a lot of money for it. It's 650 USD. Some places you buy fragrance, if you've opened it, they might not take it back. Some they do, but you don't want to risk it. So I would say maybe go into a boutique and smell it and see if you like it. Then you can decide to move forward. I would suggest possibly looking for some kind of promo to kind of get some discount and not pay the full 650 USD before tax, if I might say so. So that's true. Um, I would prefer it to have been $400. I think that's a safe price point. Because at 650, I don't think I'm gonna rebuy this if it's done, so, you know. Um, there are other fragrances in my collection that smells really good. Not like this, but they smell really good and they're not close in price in terms of what this is ranging for so i have perfumes that are like half of this perfume cost and they smell really great and they last they do all of that definitely not the same scent but they they're great perfumes so i don't think i can justify the price point for this if it was 400 dollars, okay but 650 i don't know so long story short is i would give this perfume overall eight over ten just because one it smells different from anything I have. It's going to last you. It projects very well. You're going to smell nice. You're going to smell fresh. I'm not a big fan of the packaging and I'm not a big fan of the price point. But overall, it's a great perfume. If you have the money, of course, definitely splurge. I'll treat yourself to it. But definitely something I will say or recommend, smell it first before you purchase it and go for it. If you like it so anyway again this is Tiziani Terranzi um, Telia from the Sea Star collection and it's a very beautiful perfume and I think it's a good one so I hope 
you've enjoyed this video and the review was helpful for you if you have any questions please be sure to leave that down in the comment section i'll be more than happy to address it and if you already have the fragrance already please be sure to comment and let me know what you feel about it and if you've enjoyed this video please be sure to like and subscribe and i hope to see you in my next video and thank you so much for watching thank you